Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? But you know, I'm still keeping up with the latest. Been a little more occupied with personal life things, but I'm definitely getting back into the swing of things a lot more now. So stay tuned. But those of you that are like me and are still fiending for the Union Cross juices, <laughs> you know that we just got a reveal for the Master of Masters on more of his backstory and origin. Now, this was something that I definitely had to go into more depth in breaking down each and every individual parts, the phrasing, the initial reactions, the wording, every little thing, just so I can dissect what, what exactly I can get from this. So we got to learn not only of the Master of Masters origins, but his, his real thoughts and opinions on the state of the world, how it came to where it is now from when he was just a young boy, and his plans and what he knows is going to happen in order to create the future, pretty much. You know, the origin of of light versus dark the beginning of the real keyblade war how long it's lasted original keyblade wielders other than just him the reasoning behind the roles the reason why he put people in certain roles and those that intend to repair everything from that point on so the master of masters come from a time period where before the kb war began and when the initial war between the light and the darkness and keyblade wielders first began now the master masters himself didn't have a master of his own so he could pretty much do his own thing but there were indeed other keyblade warriors in this time which is how there was a war that could happen in the first place except the darkness they were fighting wasn't exactly the same as it was nowadays in the form of monsters they more so embodied the image of people he discusses with who i assume to be lushu that the keyblade war began in his time and has never ended and is continuing to go longer and longer and longer as time continues to progress in the keyblade war that is destined to happen in his time period that he has proclaimed with the book of prophecies and that he has told the foretellers will be not the beginning but it will actually be its end the conclusion at least that's what he hopes now the real thing i want to say is this scene really gave me a lot more faith in the master of masters because the master of masters so far is an extremely mysterious person and we we know about him in his personality, but he's a very secretive person in his goals, except with Lushu, really. And from what I see from a lot of people theorizing, people have a hard time breaking the Master Masters into one subject, and whether he's a warrior of light or a warrior of darkness. But what I really think is that the Master Masters is neither one. That means he not only lies in neither one, but he lies in both of them in order to create a balance even though he himself tells who i assume is lucio again that he knows that that both darkness and light will never go away because darkness cannot be destroyed but the light will always remain even in the hearts of the pure minds and souls of children but he even states previously that he thinks that this keyblade war that is about to go down just may be will be the end of it all and i really think that he was able to get this far in general was because he has no master he has no master therefore he has no one to stop him or no one to have foreknowledge of what he was planning to do and yes there were other keyblade warriors in his time as he says technically technically if there were but he says he's the only one that was a relevant one but the phrasing on that is a little bit weird he said he's the only one who is relevant rather than the only one who was relevant so that leads me to believe that are there still keyblade wielders from the master master's childhood that is still alive that we haven't met yet that may play different roles i don't know maybe that's a theory for another day but moving on that's some of the things something to chew on right there i'm gonna let you guys chew on that little piece and we'll get on with this theory i believe that the book of prophecies is not only combined of details of the future but the future that he so sets for himself so since he's sending the world on this path already, of course, when he has the gazing eye taken into the future through the no-name Keyblade by Lushu, of course it's going to show what he intended to happen. The Master of Masters is an honest trickster, really. He tells the truth, but he weaves and phrases it in a way to influence people in the direction that he wants them to go. And since he is the master of the foretellers, he can lead them by the string all the way because they will listen to him. Plans for there to be divisions and classes on under the name of unions he gave each of the foretellers roles so they would be focused on different things and have different ideologies and when there's different ideologies things can go awry he set up a plan for the corruption in that world to be weeded out and for the future of it all to be held in the hands of the children aka the dandelions and have the new union leaders be the ones to rebuild the world from the data one so they'll all be connected once again and the fighting will be over and the reason why i say he lies in between because this is going to cost and sacrifice hundreds of thousands of lives even his own apprentices potentially at least that's what it should be 
And like I said, he says himself that he knows there's no way, but he hopes that maybe this next one will finally be the end of the fighting because he is tired. He knows that it can only be a pause, but he still tried, which to me is pretty respectable. And although he did set the lights to be stored in the hearts of the children, so the new union leaders being dandelions can rebuild the world, the real world, not the data world, but the real world. He has a plan for the real world. Lucio was also supposed to be waiting it out and the master masters just wanted to sit by and be a plain old bystander to watch the events of everything unfold. But this is a good goal. He does some bad things in order to enact it, but also it is for the good of all life and reality in the world itself. And he does have a plan for the future because there's still Lucio's role the box and the foretellers returning somehow which we still don't know about but there is something that he hopes to happen in the future but this having this good goal makes me be able to see how he can be a future enemy for the weirdos of light in the present day time period but although he's still having a goal from the good of everything risking the little so this does give me a little bit more hope for him but at the same time it's just like man what is he <laughs> he's just even more of a wild card now and still there's still in the back of my mind there's still Kairi's grandma she knows this story she's really one of the only other characters that we have heard about that told the exact tale that the master masters has been telling and that the new dandelions knew about so she has to be someone important right like it's not crazy for thinking that Kairi's grandma knows about this she claims it's a children's story but we've never heard anyone else but important characters reference this backstory even most important characters haven't brought it up except people from that time period itself maybe another video about her too <laughs> at some point but i still think she's suspicious in a good way or maybe a bad way i don't know but let me know what you guys think i know this has been floating around for a while about whether the master masters did set all of this up with the foretellers or did he not did he just see the future and not care about what's going to happen? Or did he actually care and think this is going to work and then disappear thinking, okay, well, everything will all be good now. Or some people speculating whether he was actually a good guy or a bad guy. I think he's in between. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know. Do you think the Master Masters is now a, a, like a better person in your eyes? Since it's based on this theory of him actually being the one to set this all up and having a soft spot for the world, like how he's tired of all the fighting and he wants it to actually end because that's pretty respectable really let me know what you guys think if you guys did enjoy want to see more theories like this make sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments what you guys thought any feedback any and all feed positive feedback is very much appreciated and uh make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because you will be coming back because i got more fire content coming for you like i said getting back into some good things life hit me pretty hard as far as a working kind of way <laughs> but Getting back into this one of things, make sure you check out the links to the all the new scenes that are relevant to this theory in the description below, as well as my links to my social media like my Twitter and Twitch below, and take a look at those. So thank you all for watching. I love each and every one of you. I'll see you guys in the next Unicross theory. See you guys.